Okay, this is Musician. It is a money reading, so we'll see what how much <laughs> money a musician might make or what's going on here or whatever. Okay, so a couple cards. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. We have the judgment card with evaluation and the right choice. We have love with romance, happiness, affection, love, and positivity. We have sweetheart with special lady, wife, girlfriend, romance, a good female sister love type of stuff. All right. We have lover with potential love affair, special man, husband, boyfriend, male friend, or family member. Okay, then we have the lovers. We have self-love, passion, relationship. Then we have the four of wands with happy home life, moving in together. And then we have positive energy. Yay, positive. Okay, um, old friends and acquaintances come back into your life. You're full of nostalgia and happy memories. We have cock shafer here. Um, cock shafing. Oh, that's a nice one. Especially when you <laughs> meet up with old friends. Um, a lack of support and money to spend where it is needed. A decision goes against your interest. We have the plague. You might have got sick. You might have gotten some. Whatever the case is, you are... A little bit under the weather. You kind of... Eh, you, you weren't expecting this. Okay, we have be patient and have courage first. Observe rather than uh, react. To confrontation, defend yourself, calamity. You will succeed. Look, careful at, look carefully at your finances. Don't overspend just now. We have egg gathering. We have all the eggs are in one basket. So don't spend. When you have like some eggs and different things, you can spend a little. Because you already kind of spread it all out. So it, it, something's going to catch up. Okay, so we have a wish. You can make your dreams come true. Wherever you focus your energy, success will flow. You'll share it too. Thank you. So, you may have a wish. You may be achieving said wish. You may wish to see somebody. You may wish to do something. You may wish to have a conversation with somebody about some issues you may be having. But whatever the case is, you might need somebody to weigh in on a re recent situation, which is fine. But remember, the last time I got advice, it was not good advice, okay? You have to give the situation time to broil, bring it to a simmer, and then figure out if you're going to allow it to burn you, or you're going to allow yourself to reconsider <laughs> okay so um it depends there there's a lot of situations where there's more than two deciding factors so you just have to pick which one would be better for you and if you do need to take a risk then make sure you have a good place to land um i don't know not everything's gonna be a winner right um but yeah, I think you're taking a bit of a gamble with certain things. Maybe you need to. Maybe you need to get out of your comfort zone once in a while. Maybe it's kind of a crazy event. Maybe it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I don't know. But you're getting advice from other people and your friends and things. So you might be anticipating what to do. But I think you have so much support behind you that it might might go off without a hitch if you're the type of person that can catch yourself really well or it might be one of those things where you might need some liquid courage which isn't isn't the best 
first impression, but I feel like you might you might be able to be smooth if you didn't take too much drink drinks or other things to um, give you this type of courage to ask a question. But I think you should be fine. Alright, we have a thief. Often a warning to guard your property, so it also asks you to be careful whom you trust just now. We have prison. Somebody could fuck around. Or maybe somebody did go to prison. And maybe they're <laughs> they're one of those people that if you um conceal them, there there might be a lot on your plate the next day. Alrighty. Be careful. All right, we have conflict is ahead, but it's not all bad. The challenge is clear, and there is no hidden agendas. As a strong political ally, but not a friend, yeah, uh, no. Um, so there's, there's somebody that you can talk to. But I wouldn't invite them home. That's why I said don't have too many drinks. Might look like a good idea. Don't have too many drinks. You know, just chill on the drinks. Because you're not using your brain. Your brain is good. Um, but don't drink so much that you get fucking, you know, incoherent. And you can't make decisive decisions. Um... Because later on it's going to bite you in the asshole. But anyway. Um, we have material comfort. And relationships. Uh, okay. That build into solid foundations. We have um, prosperous. We have a happy marriage. We have an inheritance. We have sunflowers and pure thoughts. Uh, there used to be a place near me where, like, they grew sunflowers just for the sake of growing sunflowers. And these sunflowers look like solar, um, solar heads, but they always go near where the sun is, so it takes them a minute, and then they'll, their faces are on the sun. So, I feel like that's what it means. It's just, like, a flawless motion, you know, it, it feels that way, maybe the memory will also be that way too, I don't know, but it's very flawless, you know, alright, we have, uh, domestic issues surfacing now, so you may be finding it tough to organize finances, work and home you have anticipation so you might be building you might be saving you might be investing in more than the newspaper um whatever the case is be thoughtful about long-term decisions and what it looks like as of right now um like with me, I'm always looking for different things with like the money sphere because it's like weird. In the 90s, it was like a stock, <laughs> Roth IRA, and a, you know, your 401k. But now it's like, what the fuck are we doing, you know? So it's hard to put your money in an investment that's going to pay you back for your time, dedication, loyalty, etc. It, it's hard. But you have to pick one that you feel is necessary to be in your life. Um, I'm trying to get my money moves under control too. But um, my money moves are a little bit different than other people's. Um, I try things. I think I'm more risky than I am thoughtful. But thoughtful people are the ones that kind of take the more like middle grounds of certain things. And the safe of other things, which I think is a little weird, but, um, I, I think I, <laughs> I think I don't, 
I don't look before I leave. That's my problem. But anyway, and I should know better. I'm a, I'm a psychic. Some somebody called me a psychic, and I was like, no, I'm, I'm an astrologer. But okay, um, <laughs> I don't think I've ever been like a big forecaster. Like I can tell you what your de dead relatives want you to know, or I can give you affirmations of things that have happened years, months, ancient times ago, you know, type of things. And I can read people pretty well. I can't, however, translate that into making good money decisions for myself. I would like to. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty lucky, I guess, in that prospect. But it's kind of like fool's luck, you know, just fucking doing your own damn thing. And then, oopsie doopsie, there's 20 bucks in my pocket. Like, it's not, it's not anything else. But, yeah, people are like, you're always having money and all this. Because I don't expect it. That's the thing about money. If you don't expect it, and you're doing your thing, you're kind of, like, nose to the grindstone, and then you're, like, over-exceeding expectations, and you don't realize that you're over-exceeding expectations, you usually get more than you give. Like, it's, it's the weirdest thing, but it is... Murphy's Law sometimes, where it's like, something bad's gonna happen, something good might happen, you know, it's like, you can have six bad things happen to you in a row, one good thing that'll out throw the whole game, like, you, you don't know, um, but yeah, it's just, hard work does pay off for some people, such as myself, but for other people, you might actually have to try a little bit, and like, trial and error, like, I should do this on this day and this on the other and such and such. Notice how I'm not <laughs> telling you exactly what to do with your money. Because it is a money rating. But I can't really give you insider information about my techniques and everything. I got flagged last time I did that. Um, but I feel like you guys know what I mean. Um, you, you have to try. You can't like expect things to go okay like common sense hey this is a good stock this is a good thing I kind of want to try this I might need to ask about that type things okay but don't sell yourself short you know you're an able person you can do this you just have to talk to a lot of people before you get like a grasp on the situation of invest with investments get a second opinion or a third opinion on everything that you've heard um and if you get two no's or ones that are not too sure then don't do that at just yet um be advised enough to know about it <laughs> then go on to the next thing if it feels more positive then go with that never go with your gut when you feel like it's a bad thing to do um usually your gut's right so remember that all right. Anyway, take care of yourself. Take care of everyone. This is where I leave you, Mr. Potter. And <laughs> try to make good investment choices. All right. All right. Anyway, later.